G'day, Philip Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Mate, just want to do a virtual tour of this 2018 Mitsubishi ASX for you. Look, before I do so, I'm going to do a bit of a walk around so you can see where we are and what, we, uh, what we're about. Um, but Pacific Toyota used cars up here in lovely Cairns. We're a Toyota certified yard, uh, which means we have some pretty rigorous standards that we have to meet in order to get cars quality for the, for the yard. This is our main location at 235 to 251 Mulgrave Road, Cairns. We also have a sister yard, which is a bit closer into the city. Um, we do do on-site finance with Toyota Finance. Um, the reason we use Toyota Finance is not only are we a Toyota dealer, but they're the largest automotive financier in Australia. Um, just coming around, across the road, we do have our large service centre, Lexus showroom and Toyota new vehicle showroom. So we're a very large operation up here in Cairns and run one of the largest pre-owned vehicle operations under the Toyota Benefit Queensland. I believe we're in the top three. Um, okay, so like I said, just gonna come around the vehicle in, in detail, point out any marks that are on the car. So that way there's full transparency, because at the end of the day, if you did purchase the car and it rocks up, you're gonna see them. So we just wanna make sure we get all that out of the way now. So basically just gonna come around this front bumper. It is a, in a bit of a shady spot, so I'm gonna try my best to uh, go over it all. So just coming around now. As you can see, it's all in really good condition on the front. There's no real major bumps and bruises. There is a few marks on it just from bugs that have been coming off with my finger. So a good detail will we'll sort that out. Just coming up over the bonnet. There is a couple of little chips. There is a bit of moisture on it due, but you can see there's a couple of chips on the bonnet here. Look, that's pretty standard. Most of your highway K cars are gonna have a couple of chips on there. Um, but like I said, if it is concerned, please let me know. Once again, a couple of little there. In comparison to my finger, we're looking, I'm talking quite small. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm doing my best to, to show you everything I can about this car. That one's just a mark. Um, so that's perfect. So once again, just going to continue my way around the vehicle. Um, so just sort of get the side of that. Just coming up over that top guard. As you can see, all in good condition. No major bumps or bruises or dents. As for the tyres itself, mate, they look pretty much brand new on the car, so you're not going to be up for a set of tyres anytime soon. And just by checking the actual rim itself, there is no gutter ash around it, so um, that's a positive. Um, it's all in good condition. Just coming up that top pillar around the mirror there. And then I'll come back down. Got the roofing. Just coming down the centre here. And back through the door itself. Now, there is a couple marks on this door. I'm not too sure if they're from a wash or not, but you can see there's a couple of fine little lines here. Look, happy to try and get some polish onto that to see if I can minimize it. Um, that's just a dirt mark on the car. That one's actually a mark on the paint, this one here. Just get it to focus just there. So in, you can see the size of my finger compared to it. It's quite small. Um, okay. As we come on through, just gonna do the door cards of the vehicle. Once the camera decides to focus. There we go. Okay, it's coming down through here. So as you see, there's no major marks through there. Um, back over to the dash. All in really good condition. Just coming up the seats as well. All in all, really good condition. Very hard to fault the vehicle. Once again, continuing down through the back door here. Once again, there's another little little stone chip there. Just trying to get that to focus in again. So yeah, there we go. That was all that I can really fault on the rear door is that little scratch there. Um, so nothing too major. Once again, there's another little uh, bump here. These are all very fine. I'm probably being really too picky for the car but look i'd rather be too picky than not um plenty of tread on the tires as well once again um and then coming around the rim there is no major scuffs or anything like that they're all in really good condition um no gutter rash which is handy inside the doors um all really well looked after currently faulted um been really well looked after um, just coming through the back of the car, um, other than the vacuum that it probably needs. Um, once again, no real major scuffs or bruises inside it. 
um, all in really good condition. We have that rear seat through there. Once again, it's working my way to the back of the car. I'm just going to shut the boot so you can get the general style of the vehicle. It's all in really good condition there. Just coming up to the back of the car. So this is a place where you tend to find a few bumps and bruises just because luggage is coming in and out. I look, if it is a concern, I'm more than happy to have a chat to management about getting a brush touch done for you. Um, it just reseals it. Um, look, it's not going to be like brand new, but it will certainly take your attention off it because um, all everything will blend. Just coming through the top half here, but like I said, I can't really fold anything other than that little bit of bumper scuff there. Boot itself. Um, all nice and clean and tidy. Um, standard wear spots, so from cargo, is just on the arches there. We see a lot of pretty much all of them, to be honest. So that's pretty standard. Um, coming back out, I'm just going to zoom out from the car again. So it's a good looking vehicle. The red's very vibrant. Just coming up over this corner here. Up this pillar. The roof. Gonna come back down through here and back over this rear door. Rear door, once again, there is a it looks like it might come off with a bit of a polish. Um, it's just a little bit of a scuff there, it's not actually in the paint, um, so nice and handy. Um, just coming down to the rear wheel as well, so plenty of tread. Looks like it's got a brand new set. This rim does have a bit of a gutter rash on it, but nothing too major, it's just that one little section. Um, so I can't really fault that too badly. Um, all in all, pretty good. I'll just do the door card on this side as well. Oh, so the light's just interfering a bit with this one. Coming through there. Perfect. Oh yeah. I'm just going to continue to do the paintwork um, to the front guard and then I'll jump in the driver's seat. Um, so there's a few little scratches around here which I'm trying to bring up. Once again, happy to try and get a polish because it doesn't feel like this is in the paint. Um, so I'd say something's knocked it, but I'm not 100% sure whether a polish will get it out. Um, there's another couple of little marks just there on the vehicle. I'm um, just going to continue my way back down the car. Perfect. Um, front tyre, once again, brand new tread, um, so you're not up for a set of tyres anytime soon. Um, plenty of, uh, sorry not plenty of tread, I already said that. Um, no gutter rash around the front rim, so it's really just that one rim that has a bit of a scuff on it, which I showed earlier. Um, driver's side, door, as you can see, all in uh, very good condition. There's one little mark here, um, but nothing too major. Showing the base there for the scuff pad, front driver's seat. Okay, and I'll just jump on in. Um, all in all, you've got your speedo there, so as you can see, you got 71, 511 on the clock. Um, you do have your cruise control on the steering wheel as well. Um, the other side, you got your standard um, steering wheel controls being volume, voice recognition, um, and, your, um, and your Bluetooth. Um, coming through your center screen, that will also become your reverse camera. Um, I just haven't got the car on at this point in time, so I can't see it. And then you come down to your um, air conditioning, which is also climate control. Um, so all nice and handy in there. You've got dual USB ports as well, once again, very handy. Um, as well as a 12 volt power supply. Then come down to your gear selector, cup holders and handbrake. So all in all, that's the Mitsubishi ASX. Um, service history as well, done at 15,000, uh, 30, 46, 61, and then the latest service was done at 71,492, uh, meaning that your next service is due at 86,000 K. So it's just had a service done in the last 100 Ks. So, mate, I'm just going to do a bit of a wide angle walk around to the outside to conclude the virtual tour. Um, and any questions, please feel free to give me a call. And yeah, we can go from there. Just let this focus in. Okay, here we go.
Perfect. Okie dokie. Well, Philip, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call on 0410 839 933 um, and I'll talk to you shortly. Thank you.